Hello and welcome to Minor Talks about Age of Empires 2 The Forgotten Empires. This video is about the random map that's new in The Forgotten Empires, Golden Pit. Now, this is very, very similar to Gold Rush. So you can see already that yes, it, it is quite similar to Gold Rush. The other thing, um, before I go into the central part, the, with Gold Rush you did have a couple of small gold piles scattered around um, near your base, you know, a fair amount of wood, but also a fair amount of food as well, and a little bit of stone. Now, the stone does actually appear to be a lot less than what you would get in Gold Rush. However, it's not quite as. Um, you can move some houses. However, it's not quite as um, much. Yeah. So yeah, you don't get as much um, food, no, as much stone in um, Gold Rush. Now, what I'm going to do is just quickly create all of these. Come on, more house. There we go. Now, what I want to do is get all of these villagers up here, and I want them... You know, if I build, let's just say, a castle, no, a few towers, a few towers I should do. Um, now, I could protect my, well, so what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to work out sort of various ways that you could protect your own base. Now, um, now I could build a castle and I could build various towers about. That was Bombard Tower, J. And I could, yeah, I could build a Bombard Tower over here somewhere. Now, with Gold Rush, when I showed you the when I did the random map of Gold Rush, one of the things I did was um, build build lots of towers and castles in the central part. Now, the only unfortunate thing about that is if you start off with your 200 stone, I believe it is. You have one, two, three. Uh, Let's see the other stone. Can't find where my other stone is. Maybe that's my other stone. So five lots, five lots of stone. Now, so that would give you, you know, about you'd end up with about two thousand stone by getting all of your stone. Now, that would be enough for a couple of castles, well, a castle, plenty of walls, and. Uh, you know, a few towers. Now that obviously isn't going to be enough to sustain you throughout the whole of the map, so you will end up having to maybe buy lots of stone from the market by getting lots of wood in and somehow converting it over to stone. Um, however, the other thing that you could do is if you can get enough stone to begin with, and I mean, maybe actually if I just destroy if I destroy these towers, I've only got this one left. I could build a mining camp here, for example, and this keep here would protect me. Now, it wouldn't really protect me too much from this gold pile, uh, this, this, you know, these ones over here. But at least I've got these two to work around, and you can't actually build anything on here, so. And if you did want anything else, you would have to be a bit clever about it. Um, maybe build another one here. I could probably get you coming in and I could build maybe another tower over here. And another tower over here. And then maybe just as, as a suggestion, build one tower or maybe even another tower up here. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because... Oh, you're actually stuck. Okay. Ah, okay. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because with these towers, you know, the amount of gold that you're getting here is absolutely fine. You're, um, you know, that will easily sustain you throughout uh, the rest of the map. Um, I mean, it could be that yes, after a while you decide to build out and try and claim some more gold, but you can see that with doing this, oh, it's quite nice. The villagers are spread around a lot more evenly. But with doing this, you are protecting. I mean, you can see these two keeps here. It just got rid of that scout cavalry, and this keep here will protect you against this. However, the only downside is that 
an enemy could come in, you know, let's say I didn't have these two keeps here, an enemy could come in, put a trebuchet down here, and destroy this keep quite easily, especially with the 25% heal bonus, which isn't exactly isn't exactly ideal. Um, now, there are various ways to prevent this. One of them really is to uh, get lots of cavalry or um, anti-siege stuff to patrol around. So, um, actually, let's, uh, let's build a stable. Actually, no, I need... Um, if I get... If I just get a bunch of cavaliers out, what I would do with these cavaliers, uh, label label them as one, I could get them to. But I need to get them here first. I should probably label half of you, one half of you as two. So I'm going to get you to patrol uh, around here. And finally, that one, I'm going to get you to do it the other way around. So the idea behind this is that I've got plenty of people coming around, so they will scout out any siege that does come out from a distance. Um, maybe I could get them a little bit further. Maybe I could have a um, like cavalry. Um, oh, shoot, I was wondering why it looked a bit odd. So it's like cavalry. I could get him to scout around a bit further. Um, if I were to take off Marco and Polo in just a sec. So I'll get you to scout around, uh, take off Marco and Polo. So you can see here that I am seeing quite a distance around, I mean I know I'm in, in the post-imperial age and therefore these keeps do see quite a distance actually. Um, I wonder what distance it is, but it sh that should be enough to see a trebuchet. But anyway, let's say you only had watchtowers and it wasn't quite enough to see a trebuchet. Now this light cavalry here, he's able to scout out even further and to pick off any trebuchets that come nearby. Now, th I highly recommend doing this because I, I, I will almost guarantee that the enemy will try and s get loads of trebuchets in. What if you stopped? Loads of trebuchets into and get rid of your any towers that you have and you, you kind of just want to sort them out before they even get to your villages. Now, another thing though that you will get people coming in trying to quickly pick off the villages that you have on the inside. Um, maybe one they, way they could do this is siege on a gun. At least with these cavaliers and light cavalry, I'll be able to pick them off as soon as possible. Now, of course, whilst you're still messing around with this, all of this central part here you've got to make sure that your own base is heavily fortified so i uh, just going to bring this village down and just going to build a oops that's one thing i need to change if i move with the wall it goes a bit too far it needs to be a bit smaller so um it's just that's an absolutely rubbish wall uh, let's build it up there. Uh, let's get a couple more villagers out. Ooh, dear, oh dear. Come on, villager, villager. What you need to do in your own base here, though, is to sort out lots of food. Now, if I just pop two walls down here, I can then connect a gate like that. So, you come over here, if you do a wall there, build a gate on the end, and then, yeah, that should do. So you can see here how, I mean, yeah, that'll be connected up. Um, let's just double check. So that'll be connected up. And so I've got my own little base here, and I mean, yes, it could be that after a while I do, te I will end up expanding it, but at least here I can sort of sort out lots of farms. I can get in you know, a bit of stone coming in. I can get a bit of, um, I don't know what else I'd, I would need. Um, maybe I could put down a couple of keeps. Um, come down here and do this. And so what? This will just make sure that 
I'm keeping my own base protected because all I really want to do. Why on earth? No, you're idle, aren't you? Um, three. Actually, I'll get you three to patrol that. And two, if I get you up here. I will get you to patrol that. So. Oh dear, no, no. Oh dear, this is. <laughs> Why do I have to. One of them stop? Anyway, you go up there. To patrol that. So, yeah, you can see what I'm doing here. You've got sort of cavaliers protecting my villagers. So, if, if do if any kind of a cavalry or infantry or archers come in, these cavaliers can quickly take them out. I then got this. Uh. Did I must have died? I did have a light cavalry, but somehow gone. Um, uh, let's see if I get him scouting around here. So yeah, you can see here, you know, a nice little fortified area. I could get some get some farms up, I could um, you know, gather a little bit of stone that I've got left um, build a market, that's one thing I will definitely need because here, yeah, look look at this this is this is the point The um, all of these people are coming in to attack and now the cavaliers are doing their very best to sort everybody out now of course a castle would be ideal here, however it would be the first thing that would be attacked and all my cavaliers are doing a fantastic job, I believe I may have lost one or two villages or possibly not by the way it does I mean, if anything I lost one or two villages max so it wasn't a big deal um, and once again these cavaliers go back and that spearman is going to go as, as if it's going to survive these cavaliers are sorting out that that man at arms is going to go down and the cavaliers go back so I highly recommend to get very, you know a few keeps around just to help protect your villagers but also to get some you know military around you know cavaliers archers um infantry but probably probably um cavalry actually will be best because they're the strongest and they can walk around quickly the other thing though is that if you do have you do if you do protect this um place here you the enemy might, let's say, build a small little fortification here, and they could attack each other like this, and so you might end up attacking them, and then they'll attack you in the process, and uh, that just won't be good. And um, <laughs> I'm going to leave him, see what he does, see how well he does it. Um, I mean, yeah, you can see all of this happening here, and so with these villagers, I am going to be very wary um, of them because. At some point, they will attack. So you lot, and you do. Uh, oh, quickly get the monks. That's what I mainly need. Excellent. So you can see here how I sort of repelled this attack. And if I, if I didn't have any infantry, or, well, any, any military here, I would have completely failed this. And um, I mean, yes, the keeps would have provided a bit of. Uh, protection, but no way would they have been able to. If you died, <laughs> you died. No way would they have been able to um, protect all of my villagers. So really, that's generally it to gold, gold, um, golden pit. So the main things is to protect your, you know, only take control of a few gold mines and protect them as much as you can. And. Um, Try not to venture out into and take all of the gold pits because the enemy will really attack you. But also try not to attack the enemy as much as possible. Um, if you keep your patrol very close to your towers, your mining camps and your villages, then they won't divert too much to other places. And if you can just get gold in a neutral way, then that would be great. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next part, which I'm not sure, I can't actually remember which one it was. I think it's... Um, I think it's hideout, but anyway, I'll see you in the next part.